judge me. Yep, we've all done that. What's up everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm Dr. Igor Dioli and today I'm going to show you what were the effects on my body of a full day eating sugar. Or should I say unhealthy food with high sugar content? Currently I'm on a hypocaloric diet of around 1700 calories and my goal is to lose fat, what we call a cutting diet. And for this reason, although I'm not going to really watch my macros closely for this day, I'm still going to try to stay under 1700 calories so I can continue to lose weight, even though my diet is going to be like a, for, for today, it's going to be like a cheat day. And yes, that can be done. Before we begin, don't forget to give me a like down below and let's make a deal. For each gram of sugar I eat, you're going to share this with a friend. I'm gonna get a lot of subscribers today. Sounds fair to me. Good morning, I'm here with my lovely cat, Leon. Say hi to the camera. Oh, he's so sweet. So this is the first meal. Usually I have like a, two slices of whole wheat bread, which is roughly 40 grams of carbs, but it's complex carbs, so it's very different than uh, 40 grams of sugar, for example. Let's quickly go over some really important nutrition terms. When we say sugar, we're usually referring to a simple type of carbohydrate called sucrose. And once in our body, we quickly break the sucrose, this disaccharide or disaccharide, into two monosaccharides fructose and glucose. The problem with these simple carbs or sugars is that we break them so fast that we quickly spike our blood sugar levels and our body tries to compensate releasing tons of a hormone called insulin, which also leads to an insulin spike. And this hormone helps the, all that sugar from our blood to enter our cells. There are a few ways that we can lessen and delay this sugar rush or this sugar spike. One of my favorites is eating simple carbs combined with like good sources of fat, fiber, and protein. Complex carbs, on the other hand, are not as simple. See what I did there? As two monosaccharides bound together, but instead, several monosaccharides, for example, several molecules of glucose bound together. This means that our bodies are going to take longer to break them. And as they're broken down and absorbed, they enter our bloodstream little by little, giving you energy for a longer period of time without spiking your blood sugar or your insulin levels. Putting this knowledge in a real life scenario, we want simple carbs, for example, immediately after workout for a faster recovery. Or another example, when we want to treat low blood sugar levels, what we call hypoglycemia, which can be very serious and life-threatening. Therefore, complex carbs should be our main sources of carbs throughout the day. And simple carbs are better if they come from nutrient-dense food, such as fruits and vegetables. Two slices of whole wheat bread and a slice of cheese and whey protein. Today, I'm going to, I put it in the microwave so my cat, my cat doesn't need it. I got donuts for me and my wife. This is mine. I'm sure it's going to be amazing. And my wife's is the cream cheese one. And also, I love monsters, but today I usually have the zero calorie monster, which is this one, the white one. For me, I got this one, the regular one. The last time I had this was in like 2018, in my intern year. So before I got the can, I was thinking, oh, maybe it has like 30 grams of sugar. It's, gonna, it's going to be a lot, but I was impressed with the amount of sugar in this thing. 58 grams of carbs and 54 grams of sugar, of added sugar. Let, let me see if I can show it to you guys. That's a lot of sugar. 
So basically after this breakfast, I'm probably gonna be at around one third of my daily calories. Hopefully I'm not gonna feel hungry during the morning. I won't crash during the morning. Let's start sugar crash. You already know that eating foods high in sugar will spike your blood sugar levels and then your insulin levels. What happens next is that all that insulin will bring your blood sugar levels down so fast that your body is going to start to think, hey, I gotta eat more, I'm running out of fuel. And that's when your hunger hormone called ghrelin is going to go up and you'll be hungry again. You probably can already see how this is a vicious cycle. You eat high caloric foods with tons of sugar and they're not feeling and they don't release the satiety hormone called leptin and you, you're gonna be hungry in, in a few minutes or a few hours. And what most people do to satiate that hunger, they usually eat more of the same thing. And day after day of doing this, they start gaining weight and possibly other health issues. And for lunch, I got other common snacks, like the Kinder Bueno, which I love. It's so good, <laughs> it is really good. And the a small Hershey's. Uh, cookies and cream bar. I'll keep track of the macros, especially the calories on the screen, so you can keep up with it with me, right? All right, let's grab a bite. Okay, here we go. Mmm. Sugar is good. I could easily go over a thousand calories just eating donuts. I could have like five more easily. <clears throat> but, but that's it. It's not even worth it. It is really good, but what happens now? <laughs> I'm gonna have my a monster. This one. All right, let's see. I'm curious, to be honest. It's not bad. I, I thought it was gonna be like very, very sweet, but the, the zero sugar, it's just as sweet with all the sweeteners that they put in it. I still prefer the other one, but uh, it's okay. It's all right. Okay, it's approved. Not in terms of macros, okay? <laughs> Just to be clear. So far, I'm at 500 calories and 68 grams of sugar. It's almost 11 a.m. now. I just finished my monster. I'm not really hungry. I probably didn't have a insulin spike or a blood sugar spike because I've been sipping it all morning. I was expecting to be a little bit hungry, but I'm not, which is good. And I'm having uh, my pre-workout, which is sugar-free. This is basically beta alanine, uh, creatine, and citrulline. The training session is done. I burned 400 calories. We didn't do cardio because Natalia has an interview now. And since we're gonna wait a little bit to have lunch, I will Oof, I'm tired. I will have a protein shake. This is one of the best proteins ever. It's the Pro Gym by Jim Stopani. I barely had any protein so far during the day and I don't want to waste my leg day because it was, it was pretty hard. 24 grams of protein, four grams of fat and eight grams of carbohydrates with two grams of sugar. It, it's not gonna even make a difference in, in terms of sugar. Since we didn't have cardio today at the gym, we walked all the way to Temple University to have some Chick-fil-A. It's my first time having this actually. So let's see what we got. I got some fries, ketchup, which has a little bit of sugar, barbecue sauce, and this one, this is what made them famous. Apparently, yeah. All right, we got two of these. One is spicy, one is not. The bun looks a lot like McDonald's. I forgot to mention that I almost ordered medium Coke, but that's a, around 30 grams of sugar. And I, <laughs> I and thought it's it was not even good. I thought it would be too much. <laughs> Since I'm showing you guys all my meals, this is like a dessert. It's half the Kinder Bueno. <laughs> the cats want some. Um, I'm just gonna eat half and she's gonna eat the other half, right? <laughs> yeah, 
I love this. Now we're at almost 1700 calories and a total of 83 grams of sugar. It's 7 p.m. now. I haven't eaten anything since the last meal you guys saw. I'm going out with my wife and I can't eat anything else. That's it. We're done for the day. Here's my feedback on this day of high, very high sugar and not really caring a lot about the macros at all. In terms of energy, I feel the same, the exact same I feel every day. I went to the gym, the strength was the same, energy to, uh, to work, energy to do all my daily activities, they were the same. In terms of mood, it didn't make any difference for me. Downsides of eating too much sugar. Okay, listen to this. Carbs are not our enemies. Not even sugar for that matter, especially if you're physically active. So this is no excuse not to eat your fruits and vegetables, okay? Like everything else in life, the real problem is too much of it. Studies have associated high sugar intake with obesity, diabetes mellitus type 2, heart diseases, inflammation, depression, and even increased risk of cancer, and much more. In terms of hunger, yes, I am very hungry and still 7.15 now, so I, I'm not sure what time I'm, I'm going to bed. This is the bad part. I, I think I'm just gonna like drink water or something. <laughs> yeah, and that's it. Tomorrow I'll be back in my normal diet. According to the American Heart Association, on average, man should eat no more than 35 grams of sugar per day and women 25 grams. But the average American eats 77 grams of sugar every single day, which as you guys just saw is not something that's really hard to do if you don't keep track of what you're eating. In only two meals, I ate 83 grams of sugar, sadly, and I couldn't eat anything else for the rest of the day because I was controlling my calorie intake. Most people don't do that. If I was at 83 grams by noon, basically, or 1 p.m., maybe by the end of the day, I could double that easily. But on the other hand, having healthy lifestyle habits and going overboard for a day, for example, it shouldn't be detrimental to your health in any way, unless you have specific restrictions, such as people with celiac disease cannot eat gluten. People with diabetes mellitus type 2 should really control their carbs intake, and so on and so on. So my recommendation for you is that you try to keep track of what you're eating, check the nutrition label on the back of each product, for example, just to have an idea and check for sugars or added sugars. And if you have any questions, always ask your healthcare provider. We're here for you. All right, I hope this was fun and informative. Smash the like button down below if you liked it. Consider subscribing and let me know in the comment section about your own experiences. You will have a marvelous day and I'll see you in the next video.